Joe 200, how are you doing? Fall semester 2018. So uh, thank you all you guys for, for adding the class. Again, I guarantee you this is going to be probably one of the most rewarding classes that you're going to take at USC. It's very self-paced, okay? Um, we, we, you guys have a voice in how things are going, so it was great how a lot of you got in there and, and uh, voted on how you want to run the course. And so uh, we've opened up um, all of the quizzes so you can get in there and get them done ahead of time, which is awesome. Um, we do still pace the discussion so that it will be a, an actual discussion. So um, it's awesome. Okay, so uh, for those of you that um, are, are um, new uh, to uh, JARO 200, you uh, check the announcement page to um, update yourself in terms of what's going on. So these are all the communications that we have done uh, since the beginning of the semester. Uh, this is the lecture that explains to you how to navigate the course, okay? So you, it's all on YouTube, so you just sit there and watch it. It explains how everything goes. Um, we um, have added a new TA because we have so many more students, and that's great. And uh, the new TA is right here, Sammy Sohn, uh, with a master's degree in gerontology, super highly qualified, which is awesome. Um, all the lectures that I'm making, like this one, uh, will be sent out to you via email and uh, it'll be posted as an announcement. So I'm scrolling back down again to show you. This is the last one that I did. You'll get these once a week. Um, and then I will also repost them in this section right here called Recorded Lectures. So if you click on the item right there, again, this shows you the first lecture right there. So we're going to go with that week one, week two, like that. Okay? Alrighty, so speaking of weeks one and weeks two, uh, what you are asked to do um, each week is participate in um, two different items, this one right here and this one right here. So you have your course readings and quizzes, okay? And you have your uh, discussions and part participations. Uh, uh, per feedback from you guys, uh, when we go into the course readings here, you can go into all these now at any time and go ahead and, and, and do the quizzes, so if you want to get ahead of the pace, that's fine. However, okay, it still does have the same policy in terms of a due date, okay? All right, so you, you can't wait to the bitter end and go back, okay? You have to keep up with it. So here's, uh, this one is August 20th right here, okay? So if I click on this right there, okay, um, you would see that there's a quiz right here that you would click on, and uh, that quiz would be, for example, right over here, okay? Alrighty, so you just need to um, stay on pace with this, okay? Because you have exactly one week, okay, from when it is posted, all right? Um, and get my face out of the way. So this was posted on the 20th, and so you have to August 27th, okay? And, uh, and then it closes, okay? Alrighty, so that's how that works, okay? Uh, so those of you that are new, you email uh, my co-instructor, my wife. Um, her name is Julia Walsh, and she is the administrator on this course. And she ha will have the uh, immediate correspondence with you. And that's what is awesome about having her on that end. Is she is, is a tech guru and loves to communicate via email and will respond to you immediately. Okay. All righty. So um, um, you'll see up here, it tells you what to do. Okay. Um, it says uh, for this particular chapter, what you do is you download this article, click right here. So I've already done it, and it brings up this article right here. Okay, alrighty. So and then what you do is you read the article. Okay, you scroll down and read the article. I'm going to go back over here. It says right here that for the first week you're supposed to read the forward through trend five. Okay, so if I go back over here, okay. And I look at the, the, uh, the um, uh, reading assignment you have here, Why Population Aging Matters, <clears throat> a global perspective, okay? You go read it forward through a trend five right here. That's what that uh, quiz is all about. Okay, again, here are the quiz questions that I have popped up on mine, okay? Um, you know, we have many questions that we draw from, so you know two of you are going to get the same questions, okay? We have a pool of questions, all right? Um, and the best approach is to do is to take these quizzes 
is just to pop open your quiz. Okay, so if we come over here, you do that again by clicking right here. You click on this, you open the quiz, and then the quiz will pop up. Boom, okay. And then what you do is you look at the question, okay, and you look at all the questions, really, and then and study them, and then you go in and you do your readings, okay. And so you read through all this, okay, and the, 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 the statement and the forward, the, the forward are really, really, really very useful, okay. So I'm reading here, and I'm looking at um, our aging world, um, and this is the overview, okay. And it says, you know, uh, right here, almost 500 million people worldwide <coughs> uh, and, um, or were present, okay, uh, in 2006, okay? And they're, uh, that are, that's, that's talking about people that are 65 and older, okay? By 2030, that's projected to increase to 1 billion, okay? So if we come back over here, okay, and it says uh, worldwide there were almost, da, 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 okay, so it's from this article. Okay, the answer was right there. It was 500 billion right there in the, the very first section. Okay, all right, so that's kind of how you hunt around. All right, um, this uh, section of the course gives a real, real nice overview of um, what we're calling uh, kind of the burden of this. Okay, and the burden um, is really at the level of, um, of financial and personal burden. Okay, and it talks about. Um, we're going to get get into concepts of uh, the the economic burden that countries have. Okay, there are a couple of key things that pop up here. We see um, we see that the um, the people over 85 is the fastest growing proportion of populations, and our you know our 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 economies, our 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 local communities is our country ready for this kind of stuff? Okay, um, as we scroll through here, we then. Um, get into an analysis of individual countries, okay? And uh, there's just an example here, again, looking at Europe, right here in the European Union, and um, and the initiation of retirement age, okay? You know what, uh, and changes of that, you know, why is that happening, okay? And, um, and it's just that the reality is that um, there's gonna be this shift, this enormous economic burden, um, that is shifting for generations of workers and taxpayers in the future. That's you guys and me being an economic burden to you, okay? Because I'm going to be tapping into my Social Security and Medicare, and you're going to have to pay for it, okay? And that's just kind of the way it works. All righty. Um, another cool little aspect, just kind of an issue, we're going to be talking a lot about this at the very end of the class, but, but you know, uh, financial preparedness, okay? We're going to talk about preventative health in this class, how you can avoid getting a disease. We're going to talk about financial preparedness, okay? Super, super important, okay? And just, just like a little window here, um, start thinking right now about, you know, a saving and compound interest, okay? Um, these are just kind of economic financial terms. Watching your uh, savings grow, what are the best types of uh, investment structures that you could be using? Um, we'll talk about 401ks. We're going to talk about individual retirement accounts, or IRAs. Um, right now, you guys should be doing Roth IRAs, okay? We're going to talk all about that. But just to get a, a hint of what, ha what would happen right here, um, a 40-year-old worker who begins to save $10,000 per year will have an accumulated wealth of $700,000 a year by the time he's 70. And this just assumes a really, really crappy interest rate, crap is growth rate. Of five percent, you know, a lot of the last year, my investments have been growing at about twelve percent. Okay, all right. Um, you see that if you start early, okay, like after, just after you graduate, thirty years of age, then all you need to do is save fifty-five hundred dollars per year instead of ten thousand dollars per year to get this to this same hundred thousand dollars level. Okay, uh, so just think if you're saving maybe ten thousand dollars a year. Uh, starting at age 30, you know, so you can look at compounding and you can expect a better return on the investment than 5% as well, okay? Um, so, you know, you'll be talking if you start thinking about this kind of stuff right now, uh, by the time you're seven years of age, you know, you guys could easily have two, three, four million dollars put away, okay? And that's, that's an important concept. All right, so back to uh, what we're doing here, okay? Again, 
we're looking at that first question, okay, um, worldwide, there are almost X million people who are age 65 and older, and it pops up again right here, okay? Today, almost 500 people are 65 at age and older, okay? 8% of the population. And you're just going to have to sift through this, okay? Um, and, and this is the best way to deal with the quizzes. Now, the whole point of this is not to just answer quizzes, but it's obvious to learn and the impact of having an older population. And you see... Um, the enormous impact, okay, that is happening right here in terms of being, say, a parent and the weight of the dependency world that is on your shoulders, okay? And we see that because your parents are living so much longer, because it's so hard to make a living that you're most likely, all of you are going to delay reproduction, okay? You're going to get into a situation that when um, you have, say, a five-year-old, you're going to have a very dependent parent as well, okay? So you're going to be caught in the middle. You're going to be sandwiched, okay? But it shows you that there's this trend, okay, in terms of this, you know, dependency uh, that there's going to be a lot more people over the age of 65 and a fewer people um, under the age of five. So that's kind of a societal ch shift right there, all right? Um, in answering the questions that are in the class, so we look at developed versus undeveloped, there's a question that comes in here that starts looking at that, I believe. Okay, yeah, and it looks like Japan, Sweden, Italy, and Chile, okay? Who's increasing most rapidly now, okay? And uh, you can look in here and you can, you can make an estimate by looking at these graphs, okay? Obviously, Chile is racing into this scenario, okay? Um, they're an undeveloped country, so they're having the most rapid increases. All of these developed countries, we, we did this aging thing a long time. We're changing our infrastructure to accommodate this aging thing. Uh, we're going to spend a lot of time looking at Japan, okay, uh, because um, they got there first, okay, <laughs> um, and, and how you adapt as a society and economically, all righty? Okay. Um, looking at uh, life expectancy, looking at changes here, looking at gender differences, okay? Um, women, men tend to be exposed to a lot more environmental hazards. They tend to be lunatics and do crazy stuff, and they die off earlier, okay? Um, that's the biggest thing right there. Also, our exposure to environmental centers sets us up to have a higher risk for certain types of diseases, okay? Um, all righty. Um, we're looking at, uh, again, the rising old. I think the most important thing to take about this is that we go from the shift of, of society paying for health care. And, and the most costly aspect of this for you financially, guys, is um, chronic disease. Okay, uh, Somebody that suffers from Alzheimer's disease, um, they you can expect putting them into, for example, uh, a specialized assisted living facility that is designed for Alzheimer's care, um, they may survive 15 years, and that facility may cost you $80,000 a year, okay? Not covered by health insurance, right? So, so are you ready? Are you ready to, to do that? Are your parents ready, okay? These are all different aspects, okay? Or um, you can look at the cost of health care in the immediate, okay? Um, we're going to talk about... Um, uh, a lot of diseases. We're going to focus in on cancer in this class. Um, my co-instructor, my wife, my right arm, Julia Walsh, she's super brilliant, at a really young age, of age 50, was diagnosed with kind of an aggressive form of white blood cell cancer, immune system cancer, or leukemia, and uh, went into a clinical trial. And the cost for one year for that clinical trial was $300,000. Okay? And it um, was covered by our insurance. We met our out-of-pocket maximum. But when the insurance company has to pay for that, it trickles down to everybody else. Okay, So these are all big issues, this chronic disease. And yes, her form of leukemia is an, is an age-related cancer, chronic. Okay, so study these things and understand this consequence of aging and uh, vulnerability to diseases. Okay. And then it goes further into this, again, non-communicable, non-infectious diseases, okay, and how it's growing, 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 growing. 
we are grappling with it. We are coming up with answers. But look at Africa, okay? And um, a lot of the uh, undeveloped countries, uh, what's happened is we're eliminating a lot of the communicable disease. They're having this shift in, in, in the demographic, having older people, and they're not ready to handle it, okay? And just kind of a, a, as, a, you know, as, a, as an aside uh, in terms of, you know, what you guys can expect, you can look back up here to, you know, the population growth of different, different uh, countries and, you know, do understand that the world is changing, okay? And um, so this is, you know, looking across the board, but, um, you know, these other undeveloped countries are going to take off. Right, right now, the most populous country in the world is China. Um, yeah, the, they, um, they will be overtaken by India in 2025, 20, 2030. 20, you start to beginning just by brute numbers. Are we less relevant as a country you know, in the United States? And, um, and, uh, and then um, right behind that in 2060, then the largest countries in Africa are going to be taking over um, uh, uh, the world domination in terms of population growth. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, quiz two. Okay, we go back over here. Um, let's uh, go back to our, our, uh, uh, our course readings, okay, right here. And it says, uh, why population matters part two. So we click, click on that, okay, and sorry. And it says that this goes from trend five to end note. All right, so we go back to our reading. We have our second quiz open, okay. And at the very right out of the blocks, when we look at um, um, uh, the next chapter, okay, and and it starts talking about things like living arrangements, okay? It starts talking in family structure about divorce, okay? If you come right in here, the very first question is all about divorce, okay? Um, mutual fund investment is the second question, is the second quiz. So I would read through all this, okay? Um, since it's investing, I'm going to look for uh, the chapter, okay? So this is talking about retirement patterns. That's getting kind of closer. Okay, um, that's talking about pensions. Okay, that's another thing we're going to talk about. Okay, and then we come down here, um, pensions. Now, pensions are, are dinosaurs. They're disappearing. We're going to talk about that. Uh, only government employees get pensions nowadays. Teachers, okay, all right. And then um, when we get down here into the economic challenge, then boom. So the answer to this question about people that are doing mutual funds is right here. I come back over here and I look at that question um, and it says uh, this country has the highest number of people investing in mutual funds. I go back over here, I say Austria, Spain, Germany, Sweden, okay, um, and we see right here Sweden, okay, has the highest one, okay, right, that's how you go about doing this, guys. And these are all, you know, you guys, a lot of you are business majors, this right here, this is huge, econ majors. Um, uh, this is all something that you should really, really be focusing on considering, and it's the impact of aging. Are you prepared as an individual, all right, for a comfortable life? Um, is your community prepared, okay, um, in terms of what they're going to do with this age wave, as we call it? And what about countries, okay? And are they prepared? Or, and and um, um, how do they uh, deal with the burden, okay? So we're looking at uh, right here, for example, uh, pensions, okay? This is a guaranteed income. That's what a pension is. And, and corporations have fled that because you can't. You cannot guarantee an income anymore. And that's why they ask people to, to um, orchestrate their own retirement to, to what's, uh, their own individual retirement plans. These are called defined contributions. We take your own money out and you manage it yourself, okay? The government is no longer responsible for you, all right? Um, the uh, closest thing to, that we have is the Social Security system, and it's, it's minute, okay? All right, so we see here um, the ratio of workers to pensioners, okay? All right, so what is it? It's going down, down, down. That means um, all the, the, the people, okay, that are in retirement age that need pension, and there's millions of people that need pensions, there's fewer people paying into it. That means those people are going to pay more. Sounds like our social security system, doesn't it? All righty. Um, 
And we're looking at, again, expenditures as a, as a percentage of e-com. We just did a gross domestic product look at right there, okay? Um, the burden of these pensions, okay, for these more socialistic-like countries, okay? All right, and they have to come up with a, a plan, okay? So that's what this is all about. All right, guys, so I think you get the, plan, the idea. That's what's going on with the first two. Um, I'm going to leave this page, and I'm going to leave this page too, which is the quizzes. I'm not taking them. You are, okay? You then jump into uh, the discussion, okay? Um, and this is just what my page looks like because I'm the instructor. I'm going to show you what your page So These are all the discussions, okay? So, again, we are going to focus in on Japan's population growth, okay? Go like this. All right, and we're gonna look at now the discussions if I was a student, okay? And again, since they are time linked, the first discussion's gone, and now we're doing the second discussion right here, okay? And again, remember I said Japan hit that wall earliest, and so this is what this is all about, okay? All right, guys, um, you're doing a good job, and I look forward to seeing you guys go nuts on discussion right here, again, um, you go in here, you do a quick reading of this PDF file, you look at the videos, and you tell us what it all means based on the prompts that I have right here. All right, so these are very specific prompts. You have to address what I have said right there. Okay, and there it is. There's the article that comes up right there. It's a really, really good article. Again, looking at many of the same things that we liked at the first reading. Okay, all right, very cool. God, those, those, these graphs should be scaring the poop out of you guys. All right, guys. We will see you next time.